Hi everybody! Um, today I am going to be applying a transfer to this painted chair. I had a lot of requests to do this um, video and I haven't had a chair to do a transfer on, but I picked up two of these um, and they were in great shape. I'll show you a before here, but first I'll tell you a bit about this chair. Um, it had kind of a pine colored wood with like a varnish on it, so it was very slippery. Uh, when I was cleaning it, I could tell that paint would probably stick to it, but to be safe, I added this is um, Slick Stick by Dixie Bell. So it helps the paint to stick better to a slick surface. You can use it on ceramics or glass. Um, and then this has had, I think, two coats of, I think it's called Mason, Mason Dixon Gray. I think I gotta look. Um, by Dixie Bell. It's kind of like this grayish with these purple undertones. So I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really pretty. And then I'm playing with what color I want to do on the wood. I picked up this tea rose, which I'm also using on another piece. It's got a little bit of wax on it, um, black and bronze to just kind of give it, I guess, a little bit of an age to look to it. It's kind of bad lighting in here, but I don't know. Tell me what you think about that color. Otherwise, I was just thinking of kind of a, a white maybe or a cream and then kind of distressing it. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the wood yet, but Anyway, to the transfer. So this is the one I'm going to use today. This one is by Iron Orchid. Um, I also use Redesign with Prima. I've used this one before. It is um, really pretty. It also comes, it's going to come, it comes white. So this one is going to be white on the chair, but also comes in like a, a brownish gray color. So I'm going to use the white. This is really going to stand out and be really pretty on there. And then I also am toying with the idea of using this one, like cutting out a little piece of the flower maybe and adding it down here. I've never actually added transfers to where you would sit only because I don't know how they'll hold up over time to be honest. I've put transfers on chairs and I've had them for about a year and they've been fine but it all depends on the fabric of the chair. I put some on, I put transfers on silk and it, it was bubbling off and so I used a little bit of fabric adhesive to just kind of feather the edges of the transfer and that stuck it down and st it stayed and it was fine. Um, but every time is a little bit different. So I, I just kind of have to play with it. So we'll see when we start putting this one on how it sticks to this. So you're, this has been dry for 24 hours. I haven't done anything with it. So I think it should stick pretty well. I usually let the paint sit at least a day, maybe even two or three days. Um, and then also I'm gonna go back to this. This comes with this little tool, this little wood stick rubbing thing to just rub the transfer on and then it, it comes like rolled up <clears throat> and then it has your backing that you're going to peel away and then you can see the transfers there um i've only had one incident happen with redesign where i peeled it and it actually stuck to my backing and i researched it and i've tried all these methods of you can put it in the freezer or you can use your blow dryer and all and it still stuck to the backing so i think that one's just toast now i've done probably 30 transfers in the last six months. I've never had that problem, but I did one time. So yeah, just to warn you that can happen. Someone finds a method that works to get that off, let me know, because I still have the transfer. So I'm just peeling the backing off. Normally, most people take these on. Um, I just eyeball it. I'm just gonna eyeball, see how pretty that is? I'm gonna eyeball it and uh, start at it here. Let's see how we do it. Yeah. Just trying to kind of see. I may have to tape it because this cherry is curved. I don't know if tape's going to hold it though. chair is like I'm um, gonna curve back to it. I just I'm gonna pause you for just a second. Go ahead. Okay so I changed my mind. Um I cut it. I ended up cutting it. It's the back it curves like this and it curves a little bit and so <clears throat> the transfer <coughs> is not laying flat and you don't want it to be bubbling and moving. So I just cut I'm just going to do a little bit at a time, basically, that's how I'm going to do it. So I'll just cut the top off that's about to fall. And then I'm just going to have to hold it because taping it's not working. So 
this might be a little more of a challenge than I thought, but so I try to get it as straight and then it needs to be flush and kind of stuck down. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing now. Let me move it a little bit closer. Okay. So I'm just going to start to press and hope for the best because it was not wanting to lay down for me. And it might move, so I'm just going to have to... I can see it's releasing. And the way you can tell is, do you see... Where are we? Right there it's white. And then the rest is kind of... You can see that it's lifted from the film. So it doesn't need a lot of pressure. But you don't want to lift it prematurely because you can rip that transfer right off of there. But it's like coming off actually really well, but it's moving a lot, so I have to try to hold it. That's why I cut it, because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Um, and you'll get bubbles, and so I'm going to go back and smooth over it. Try to work from one side to the other, and I just missed the spot down here. <clears throat> Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. My arm's probably in the way, but oh, I can see my end got a little bit. It's really hard because it keeps lifting, so my end curled up on itself a little bit. You can see that before I even lifted it up. Okay. <clears throat> lifted so you can just grab like a soft rag <clears throat> or uh, let's see how many bits do I have to use it will kind of crack if you're not careful so I can see right there my M it's picking me in right there it kind of curled up a little bit on itself, but I guess I noticed that. Probably nobody else will notice that. Okay, so. Um, so once this has sat on the chair for a little bit, probably a couple days is how long I'll leave it. <clears throat> I will wax over top of this. Other people have used like a polycurlic. I've never done that because I think the chair would be kind of um, stiff if you used a polycurlic. I'm going to use like a just soft, like easy peasy wax maybe or a rub on type wax. And that will help to also seal that down. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the next piece um, and then keep going. Probably just a little bit at a time because it, is, it was a little bit tricky to hold that and to keep rubbing that on. Like ideally, you would tape these down so they're not moving on you, but obviously the taping was not working when I was taping. It was just going like this. Like it was not sitting on there at all. And then the bad thing about this is I have to make sure that I'm pretty straight. And I lost my tool, of course. There it is. It kind of sticks a little bit by itself, but not, not very well. Mm. So in a couple 
couple days when this is set up. I'll come back and I'll show you the waxing process. Like I said, if I see it lifting, I've seen that before and I've just used a little bit of fabric adhesive and it dries clear so you don't see it. <clears throat> Although it's a little bit shiny. So sometimes people can tell. Okay, so see that one's already on. And so then I can move this one. It might be a little bit crooked. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge to get this really straight. But then the window's causing a glare. I guess a good thing is you can customize it if you want to move it up or down a little bit. Um, Although before I started the video, I could tell that the transfer was perfect the way it was. I didn't need to do anything to it except for cut it, obviously, because it was not so flat, flat on the chair. So those all are great. So it's really pretty. I think it's going to look really good when it's done. Um, I'll just keep going. I think I'm just this one is just a one little sentence for this one. Okay. I have got I got a little bit of paint right there. I can't decide if I should. I'll just touch up a little bit of white paint. I'll just touch up. Again, I'm just eyeballing it because it works for me at least. That some people would want to would not want to do it this way because they would be upset if they were if they were crooked. Usually, I'm pretty good at eyeballing and being pretty straight. That one's a little bit crooked. It was going down a little bit, but that's okay. Or, you know, what I'll, also I could do is if, say I was like, okay, I don't, I messed up, I don't like it, I'm just going to get rid of it, you can just take a little sandpaper, or probably even this tool, and scrape it off, which I may, because that is crooked, that does bother, <laughs> that does bother me. It's a little bit crooked. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so that's the transfer part. So like I said, I'll come back. Um, and show you the waxing and then hopefully my wood will be done um, as well when we come back Okay, so I Did apply one of the pieces. I was cutting them out as you remember a little crooked and it bothered me So I sanded it off and I just touched up where I had to sand um, as you can see it's a little bit wet there <clears throat> um, So I just want to let you know that that's what I did. I'm just gonna nix that part which I really don't know what this transfer says. I should Google that and find out what it, I'm sure that that sentence was an important part of the transfer, but again, I'm not that concerned because I don't think anybody would know the difference if it was there or not. Um, but instead of like sanding all of it off and having to buy a whole new transfer, I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to nix that sentence. I was crooked and try to be more careful. Um, I think it's because I need to be more, I need to set more straight on with the chair, <laughs> with the camera. I was a little bit off, so. That was my fault. But I do want to show you the chair before what it looked like. Here it is before. So you can believe that. So again, I have two of these. That's one of them. That'll be, I'm not sure if I'll duplicate another one or if I'll do something different. And then here's what it kind of is looking like now. So you can see why I chose this gray. I actually really wanted to use this tea rose color on the chair, but I just think that red in there, it was going to take a lot more paint. I don't know. Maybe I'll be brave and try, but I didn't want to put five coats of paint on it because then it just gets stiff. This chair is still, you can see that, it's 
it's a little bit stiff, but it's still, it feels soft, but I don't, you know, you can still see that it indent when I'm touching it, it indents there a little bit. Um, and so I want, I like to keep the chair soft because I, I love when people are like, oh my gosh, it's painted. They don't even know it's painted by touching it or sitting in it or anything. I do have some places to touch up where white paint got on it or I missed the section down here, right there. So, <clears throat> um, but anyway, I'm going to let this dry, I'll come back and apply the rest of the transfer and then we'll let it sit and then we'll do the easy peasy wax.